What's up guys, General Java here, and late last night on Reddit we got some leaked information about DLC 3 for Black Ops 3. Now it is on Reddit and there's no pictures and there's no video, so we kind of have to assume that everything it says on there is fake. But some of it adds up to the stuff we've had in previous snaps, but that could have also been construed just by common knowledge, just by like guessing at what it could be but the post reads as follows hello i originally planned on being anonymous when i posted this but i decided to post it regardless before reading further this is just word of mouth info from me so believe what you will i am unable to submit video proof of my claim since i was not given the video personally only shown alas this is what i know so far about the new zombies map for dlc 3. the new map will be called garod tumana which translates from russian into english as the city of fog or fog city the map indeed does take place in Stalingrad as we assumed and the main focus does seem to be Nikolai as with previous maps having Tank and Takio as their main focus. The map spawns you into an old World War II looking camp which looks like it leads into a city. The map br is bright brownie colours and there is a new starting pistol called the MA25 believed to be a Mazda remake. This is all I know thus far, take this information as you will. I will not reveal my source, but I can say it is a former tester for Triarch that was working on the game about four weeks ago. I was given this info information by the tester about two weeks ago. So that's what the post says about the potential DLC 3. Now there are some things that I don't kind of believe about this post. The first one is uh, the name of it, the City of Fog or Fog City. I think that's too close to something like Morgue City that we had as Shadows of Evil, obviously. I don't feel that... And like that is a translation and I do feel like Garod Tumana could translate into that but I feel like they've already done the whole translation thing with uh, Zetsubu no Shima. Like I don't think they'd have another foreign kind of name. The other thing that I'm not too sure about is the Mauser Pistol remake. I can understand why they'd remake a Mauser Pistol because that was the only, apart from the Bloodhound, before that, that was the only pistol we had like different to the Colt. But I don't see why they'd put the Mauser in this map when we had the Mauser in the penultimate map on Black Ops 2. Like, Origins was the last map where everything kind of tied together for that game. So I think they would have more put the Mauser into a, the penultimate map of Black Ops 3 rather than the third DLC. Because then you've only got to try and, like, make a better starting pistol or, like, a better weapon for the this starting pistol on the last map pack. The fact he doesn't reveal his source confuses me a little bit as well because... If the game test was working on it about four weeks ago, although these DLCs are always in, you know, progress and are always changing and stuff, I'm not 100% sure how much to trust about it. So in all, that was the Reddit post that was posted late last night. With that information, you can do what you will, you can believe what you want of it, but I'm, I'm still a bit sceptical about it, and, you know, when we get the official, if they do a live stream for DLC 3 reveal, or they just put up a trailer, that's when we can compare it against this post, but, uh... All in all, that's all I've got to say on this subject. I've been General Joble. Thank you for watching and goodbye.